I bet you didn't know how China's shopping spree for military designs impacts us all. But before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights. Written by Graham Allison from Harvard University, Belfer Center for Science and International Affairs. Let's face it, nobody likes a copycat. Remember that kid in school who always peeked at your test answers? Well, imagine that kid grew up and started peeking at blueprints for fighter jets and tanks. That's what we're dealing with when it comes to China and its knack for borrowing U.S. military designs. Now, you might be thinking, so what? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? Not quite. In the high-stakes world of national security, playing copycat can have serious consequences. We're talking about protecting American lives, American jobs, and America's place in the world. This isn't just about China getting a leg up. It's about fairness, innovation, and ensuring that the good guys, that's us, stay ahead in the game of global security. So buckle up as we break down why China's fascination with American military tech is more than just a case of keeping up with the Joneses. It's a complex issue with a long history and understanding it is crucial for navigating the future of US-China relations. From copying homework to corporate espionage, a historical perspective. To understand why China copies U.S. military tech today, we need to take a trip back in time. For decades, China lagged behind the West in terms of military technology. During the Cold War, China got some help from the Soviet Union, fast forward to the 1990s and 2000s, and China's economy starts booming. Instead of starting from scratch, they took a shortcut, borrowing blueprints. They figured, hey, if it works for them, it can work for us. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery and theft, the J-20 and other borrowed designs. What exactly has China borrowed from Uncle Sam's military playbook? The J-20 aims to be China's answer to the American F-22 Raptor. Notice the similarities, from the fuselage shape to the air intakes. It's like the J-20 went to the same plastic surgeon as the F-22. And it's not just fighter jets. China's been busy borrowing designs for drones, but let's be real. The evidence speaks for itself. The price of innovation. Why China plays catch up with Uncle Sam's toys. So why all the fuss about copying? Why doesn't China just build its own stuff? Well, for starters, designing and developing cutting edge military tech is expensive. We're talking billions, if not trillions of dollars over decades of research and development. China, even with its economic might, would rather take a shortcut. Think of it like this. Why spend years developing a new recipe when you can just snag a peek at your neighbor's prize-winning chili recipe? But it goes deeper than just saving money. By borrowing designs, China can close the technological gap with the U.S. military more quickly. It's like taking a crash course in military might, allowing them to catch up faster and pose a more formidable challenge on the world stage. This catch-up strategy has serious implications for the balance of power not just between the U.S. and China, but globally. It raises questions about fairness, intellectual property theft, and the future of military innovation itself. Mirror, mirror on the wall, reverse engineering and the quest for military parity. One of China's favorite tactics for acquiring American military tech is something called reverse engineering. It sounds complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Take something apart, figure out how it works, and then build your own version. Think of it like taking apart your dad's old watch as a kid. You might not have been able to build a Rolex from scratch, but you could at least understand the basic mechanisms and maybe even cobble together a working, if slightly less accurate, timepiece. China has become a master of reverse engineering. They'll acquire pieces of American military equipment through various means, sometimes legally, often not, and then their engineers get to work dissecting every nut, bolt, and line of code. This process allows them to learn from American designs, identify weaknesses, and find ways to improve upon them. It's a cost-effective way to fast-track their own technological development, even if it means bending or breaking a few international rules along the way. The Art of the Steel, How China Gets Its Hands on American Secrets. Now you might be wondering, how exactly does China get its hands on this sensitive military technology? Well, let's just say they've got a few tricks up their sleeve. Cyber espionage is a big one. Chinese hackers are like the digital equivalent of ninjas. 
infiltrating computer networks and stealing sensitive data with stealth and precision. They're after everything from blueprints and design specs to software code and testing data. Then there's good old-fashioned human intelligence. China has a knack for recruiting spies and informants, often exploiting personal connections or financial vulnerabilities to gain access to valuable information. Think double agents, disgruntled employees, and even honey traps. It's all fair game in the world of espionage. And let's not forget about more creative methods. China has been known to purchase supposedly defective or obsolete American military equipment from third-party countries. Of course, defective is a relative term. One man's trash is another man's treasure trove of technological secrets. Beyond the blueprints, the human element in technological espionage. While stealing blueprints and hacking into secure servers might get all the headlines, it's important to remember that behind all the technology, there are people. And China understands that targeting individuals can be just as effective, if not more so, than going after hardware and software. They're adept at identifying experts in specific fields like aerospace engineers, software developers, material scientists, and then using a variety of tactics to exploit their knowledge and connections. This could involve anything from offering lucrative job offers to setting up research collaborations that are really just fronts for stealing intellectual property. The goal? To tap into the minds of those who have spent years, even decades, developing cutting-edge technologies for the U.S. military. It's a subtle but effective form of espionage that often flies under the radar, but the consequences can be just as damaging as any cyber attack. A game of cat and mouse U.S. countermeasures in the future of intellectual property. So what's America doing to fight back against this technological thievery? Well, it's a constant game of cat and mouse. The United States government has invested heavily in cybersecurity beefing up defenses against cyber attacks and working to track down and prosecute those responsible. They've also implemented stricter export controls on sensitive technologies, making it more difficult for China to legally acquire certain types of equipment or expertise. And then there's the diplomatic route. The U.S. has repeatedly confronted China about its intellectual property theft, urging them to play by the rules. But let's be real, China's not exactly known for backing down easily, they become more sophisticated in their methods, making it increasingly difficult to detect and counter their espionage activities. It's a constant arms race, with both sides constantly trying to outmaneuver the other. The global impact when military secrets go viral. This isn't just a bilateral issue between the United States and China. When military secrets get out, they have a nasty habit of spreading far and wide. Other countries, both allies and adversaries, are watching closely, eager to capitalize on any technological advantage they can get their hands on. Imagine a world where China, through its borrowing, becomes the dominant military power. That's not just bad news for the United States, it's bad news for anyone who values freedom, democracy, and a rules-based international order. It also undermines the very concept of innovation. Why invest in research and development if someone else can just steal your ideas? This chilling effect could stifle technological progress, not just in the military realm, but in countless other fields as well. The road ahead competition, collaboration, or conflict. So what's the solution? How do we address this complex issue and ensure that the United States maintains its technological edge while navigating an increasingly assertive China? It's a question with no easy answers. Some argue for a more confrontational approach, imposing tougher sanctions and taking a harder line against Chinese espionage. Others advocate for increased engagement and cooperation, hoping to find common ground and establish norms of behavior in cyberspace and beyond. The truth is, it's likely to be a combination of both. Competition between the United States and China is inevitable, but it doesn't have to lead to conflict. Finding ways to compete responsibly while also cooperating on shared challenges will be crucial for global security and prosperity in the 21st century. Conclusion Securing the future Protecting American innovation in a globalized world The issue of China stealing United States military designs is not just about fighter jets and blueprints, it's about safeguarding American innovation, protecting intellectual property, and maintaining a stable international order. 
It's a complex problem that requires a multifaceted approach, combining robust cybersecurity measures, stricter export controls, strategic diplomacy, and a commitment to staying ahead of the curve when it comes to technological innovation. In the end, it's about more than just winning a game of cat and mouse. It's about ensuring that the values of fairness, innovation, and a level playing field prevail in an increasingly interconnected and competitive world. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe,